I mean, I have every sympathy for the nurses. And of course, that if their costs aren't covering even food and they're eating leftover food and going to food banks and can't afford to drive to work, um, they do need to have more money. I think that it is the timing of this is a real concern. We're coming into winter and we've already seen a surge in not coronavirus, but other respiratory viruses um, which are coming on. That Coronavirus isn't the only threat. So influenza, rhinovirus, adenoviruses, RSV, which is a virus particularly hits children. And we know that uh, there has been uh, an increase even compared to last year with these viruses, which is believed to be to the uh, because of the immune debt that we have because yes. of the lockdown. Uh, viruses and of course, don't just uh, what, go away, yeah. but we've got you know suscept more susceptible pool of population. So we are in real trouble coming into winter. And if the nurses could have perhaps done some effective campaigning to increase their pay over a period, perhaps it wouldn't hit patients so hard. Although having said that, I absolutely get why they're having they they don't want to strike. Yeah. They would. Never, never want to harm any patient. But is it really uh, the right negotiating ploy at the moment to go in and ask for 17%? Uh, Mr Barclay has indicated that could cost the government £9 billion when people are facing this, uh, this problem of actually making ends meet, you know, saying the government literally can't afford that. Uh, well, I mean, I'm no economist and I, I, you know, people, we have easily spent money quite quickly, haven't we, on other things with low value, such as the test and trace. Um, many of the, the COVID measures, we just chucked out money, 37 billion lost to COVID fraud. But, you know, this isn't yeah, about yeah. COVID. I think this this um, is probably not I mean, it's going to be a stalemate, isn't it? Those nurses are demanding that. But I think perhaps uh, some kind of compromise, seeing uh, an increase of a certain amount over two years, for example, might cut it. Um, okay. It is possible that you know this is this is not going to this is not going to work. But you know the effect on the health system, which, as you've said, is already in absolute crisis, is going to be enormous. And coming into winter, it's uh, I, I can't imagine you know what what the consequences will be. You know we all know we've already got um, you know thousands of excess deaths over a thousand excess non-COVID deaths every week. So, um, and people will, you know, waiting, as you say, seven, 7.1 record numbers on the waiting list. So it's only going to make that worse.